Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about the basics of PLC. First of all, what is PLC? PLC stands for Programmable Logic Controller. PLC is an industrial computer which controls the system that continuously monitors the input devices and make the decision based upon the custom program to control the state of output devices. Where we are going to use the PLCs? PLCs are used in industrial and commercial control applications such as oil and gas plants, power and desalination plants, petrochemical industries, food and beverage industries, water and wastewater industries, manufacturing industries and many other factors like example metal industries, cement industries, chemical industries, nuclear plants, robotics, everywhere they are, we are using PLCs. In other hand, PLC can be defined as an electronic device that takes the input from all the field devices, execute the logic by its program and generates the output to control the plant or machines. PLCs can be ranged from small modular devices with up to 10 input output devices to large rack mounted modules uh, up to thousands of IOs which often network to other PLCs and other SCADA systems and also as well as DCS systems. Now we will go to the history of the PLC. The PLC originated in the late of 1960s in the automotive industries in the USA which designed to replace the relay control logic systems. The first programmable logic controller were designed and developed by Modicon which was replaced for the relay control logics. These controllers eliminate the need for rewiring and adding the additional hardware for each new configuration of logics. The first PLC model was 084 which was invented by Dick, Dick Morley in 1969. He is considered to be father of the PLC. The first commercial successful PLC model was 184 which was introduced in 1973 and was designed by Michael Greenberg. The new system drastically increased the functionality of the control systems while reducing the cabinet space that housed the logics. Now we will go for block diagram of PLCs. The basic element of the PLC which includes CPU, input or output devices and the programming devices. The primary function of the PLC inputs the circuitry to convert the signals provided by the various switches, sensors into the logics that can be used by the CPU. The CPU evaluates the states of inputs, outputs and other variables to execute a store and program the logics. Then the CPU sends the signals to update the status of outputs. Now we will see one by one parts of that uh, blo uh, block diagram of PLC. The CPU or processor, the central processing unit or the processor is a microprocessor or microcontroller based systems. It executes the control program after reading the field input, input status then sends out the command to the field outputs. The second one is input output sections. The input output modules act as a real data interface between the field and the CPU. The PLC known as the real state of the field devices and controls the relevant input output card. The next part is the programming devices. The programming devices from the CPU cards can be connected with the programming devices through the communication links via the programming port for the CPU. 
So the PLC is otherwise called as industrial computer. PLC operation. What is scan cycle? The time taken to complete one cycle in a process is called scan cycle. Each process have four basic steps in the operation for all the PLCs such as input scan, program scan, output scan and housekeeping. These steps continues, continuously take the place in repeating the loops. First of all, what is input scan? Input scan detects the state of all the input devices that's are, that are connected to the PLCs. Pro and the second one, program scan. What is program scan? It executes the user created programming languages for program logics to control the system. The third one, what is output scan? It energizes or de energizes all the output devices that are connected to the PLC. And housekeeping. Housekeeping, otherwise, we can tell the diagnostics and communication systems. These steps, which includes the communication with programming terminals, internal or diagnostic, etc. The scan time is based on the below functions such as speed of the processor, length of the ladder logic program, the type of instruction executed and also the actual ladder true or false conditions. Based on the above factors, the scan cycle will be very. What is digital input output board? It is an interface board that adds the ability to input and output the digital signals in parallel to a PLCs. And what is digital input? Digital input module is used to monitor the status of the measuring devices. Digital input devices are available in both TC as well as AC and some of the voltage independent such as switch contact. Connect to your process with 12 volt DC, 24 volt, 110 volt AC and 220 volt AC input modules. And there are two types of input modules especially in all the PLCs such as sync and source input modules. In source input, common is connected with positive voltage and negative is connected with input signals. In the sync inputs it is vice versa the common is connected with negative voltage and the positive is connected with the input devices some of the examples of input devices such as push buttons limit switches relay contacts proximity uh, proximity switches photo sensors pressure switches etc now we will go for digital output what is digital output Digital output module is used to control the devices as well as the relay and the operation switches of various types of controlled circuits. Here also we are divided, in, divided into two main uh, digital outputs. One is relay outputs and other one is solid state output. The relay outputs are mechanically contacts usually used to control up to 2 to 5 amperes or when when a very low resistance is required and the solid state outputs further classified into four different types one is transistors ttl logics triac and also dc some of the examples of digital output signals are start and stop command for pumps, motors, agitators, clarifiers, blowers and also the open or close command for MOVs, walls, etc. The other important I.O. devices are analog input device. PLC analog input device or module is used to measure the various instrument devices. Basically the analog input module is either measure voltage or current from the input devices. Analog input modules usually measure the analog input in one of the following forms. Example, minus 10 to plus 10 volt DC, 0 to 10 volt DC, 0 to 20 milliampere, 0 4 to 20 milliampere.
the major instruments usually in industrial purpose they are using 4 to 20 milliamps this uh, for to why we are using 4 to 20 milliamps this one we will see in separate class now we will go for another examples example the current transmitters can be wired with different ways and therefore with different number of wires such as two wires three wires and four wires the first uh, the first and most simple way to connect the instrument is two wire which is connected as a loop powered you can see the example below in a three wire current loop only the connect with the ground is shared between the power supply and the signal the ground is connected to the both modules on the power and on the power supply and the four wire transmitter is widely used to separate the power supply signals power supply and the signal uh, by giving the transmitter for four wire you can use two wire for power supply and two wire for signal the next one is analog output plc analog output module or device is used to control the process by various instrument devices basically the analog input module either measures the voltage and current from uh, from the input device analog output modules usually measure the analog output is one of the following forms the same like analog inputs analog output also can be converted into minus 10 to plus 10 voltage 0 to plus 10 uh, voltage 1 to 5 voltage dc 0 to 20 milliampere 0 4 to 20 milliampere here also the analog output is usually configured with loop or internal power and external power to connect for 4 to 20 milliamps or 0 to 20 milliamps or 0 to 10 voltage examples of some of the instruments such as actuators electrical mower like variable vfds chart recorders and various instruments controlled by through the analog output now we will move to the software section for the plc's what is plc language and what are the types of plc language we are using in uh, for programming purpose now we can see one by one actually there are four five different languages used as per IEC 61131-3 standards the most five important popular languages are ladder logic sequential flow chart function block diagram structured text instruction list from out of these five three are graphical type languages and two are text type languages we can see now what uh, which one is graphical type languages such as ladder logic diagram functional block diagram sequential flow functional chart or sequential flow chart and there are two types of there are two types of text languages such as structured text instruction list example of each programming languages now we will see one by one first one is ladder uh, ladder logic or ladder diagram this is common and everyone is using this language because this is very easy to understand and here uh, this is looks like a relay control logic and the second one is sequential flowchart sequential flowchart uh, especially this one is used in ro robotic control and also for manufacturing facilities they are using this sequential functional chart function block diagram is graphical language and it is very easy to understand and and uh, the libraries it is very easy to use the functions and the next one is structured text structured text is text based language for array based or loop based functions we can use the structure text language and also for instruction list is similar to the structured text both are text based language it can be used as compact coding and also for time critical coding now we will go for brands of plc's lots of plc manufacturer available in the global and we can see the major brands 
first one is Siemens, Alan Bradley, then Schneider, GE, Mitsubishi, Ombran, Vago, Delta, ABB, and we have still lot of brands. Now we can see some PLC brand analysis. Example in uh, North America, the Rockwell is very popular. If we see, they are using more than 66 percentage, and also the end users more than 58 percent using Rockwell. And Siemens, they are using only five percentage, and end user is 19 percentage only. And if you see Schneider, they are using five percentage and four percentage extra. If you go for European countries, the Siemens is leading in European countries and also the Rockwell some places they are equating the Siemens brand and if you see the overall the Siemens they are taking a take over 31 percentage Rockwell they are taking over 22 percentage Mitsubishi 13 percentage Schneider 8 percentage etc this will be very on each year basis if you see the market revenues in each year the smart controllers PLCs smart relays everything is increasing on year on year basis so the the automation part or the complete industrial automation demands are increasing on yearly basis and we can see some of the uh, plc panels as examples Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts or need more topics in instrumentation and control systems, smart solutions or IIoT digital transformation, please comment. I will prepare and provide the video for you. If you like this video, please press the like button or share to your friends. Subscribe for new videos. Thank you.